Oh, you're 10 and 11. So in this video, I just want to very quickly go over two documents that I've given to my 11A4 class, which you were um, a teacher should have shared with you. So it's these two documents here. They should have been put into your team. Um, one of them is November Unit 1 with clip numbers. The other one is November Unit 2 higher with clip references. Now, it's the same, it's the same idea. Basically, these are to help you with the math swatch papers that have been set for you. November Unit 1... Um, non-calc and the November unit 2 calc maths papers is not numerous is maths now basically when you click on one of the, so even if you've done one of them already it's still useful for you to go through this so you click on so for example if you're you're probably doing the November 18 unit 2 higher now and um, this has probably been set to you you probably got it to do now when you're doing it at home obviously you've got any materials you want to help you now the best way to help yourselves with it is to use um, the math swatch clips, and that's what I link to here. So if you click on the document, you download it, click on it, open it in browser or whatever you do, you can see question two has been crossed out because you haven't got that is no longer examined, so we can leave that out. With each next to each question, you can see clip numbers. So let's say that you're really stuck on um, try that improvement. Well, then you would go to the clip that I've written there. It's my writing's horrible, I know, but it's clip one seven four. To find that on MathSwatch, you go onto the MathSwatch website. So let's go onto MathSwatch now. We go onto our Maths, MathSwatch VLE. You log yourself in and you click on videos. You then go to, don't try and find the clip, just click on search. We want clip 174, so I'm going to type in 174. Click on iteration. Right, now you've got the clip. To revise this now, what I would do, what I used to do when I was in school, I would maybe watch, um, I don't know, I, used to, I don't, the Maths Watch Lady do one, and then I would go across to an example or one of my, own, you know, another question. So I'd watch her do one, and then there should be a question at the end for me to try. Here we go, right. So now what I do, I get my book, and I would try this question on my own with my pen, paper, calculator, do it, and then I would look at the answer to check. If I've got it right, happy, move on to another topic, try the question in the paper. Now, if that isn't enough, you can also click on interactive questions. And what these will do, these will be like the exam questions, and they will actually examine, they will actually be able to, you'll be able to submit it and get a mark on it, okay? Um, and if you can do both of these, you can be happy that you understand that topic, right? That's a really good way to revise, and I think it'll be useful at this stage. And I've done that for the entire paper, okay? So, and this last bit is the trig lesson, the 11 playlist. I can send that to you as well. Um, that's something else. Um, but mostly, the clips are really useful. So, if you use this method to help you as you do the November 18 Unit 2 higher paper on Mass Watch, it will be useful. And you can also go back, and if there was anything you really weren't sure of on the Unit 1, because this is useful, go back, have a look at the clips, right? Clip 78, clip 1, 2, 3. Though I don't expect any of you to be struggling with that, really, question 3. But, you know, the, the tank question, uh, maybe you've forgotten to work at the volume of a cylinder, clip 148, and so on. So hopefully that is useful to you, and um, if there's any problems, just uh, let us know.